I have some crabs here. So here you go. Oh my God. Big bait, big fish for snook and tarpon. I'm gonna send them down, see if I can actually, oh no! Spike right here is gonna be eating this pilchard right now. I think he's gonna, oh, 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 oh! Massive fish! Oh, right there, baby! Oh my god, oh. come on! This is insane, bro. <laughs> Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another adventure, and today I'm on the road. It's a very, very rainy day, and haven't been able to film much lately, so uh, it's been a bit a little challenging to go ahead and get some content out to you guys, but worry not, there's some fire coming. Now, I'm on my way actually to a bait store. I'm really, really excited because I've been trying to find the perfect meal for Spike. If you guys don't know who Spike is, Spike is my spearing zebra mantis shrimp. Now, you guys know Tyson. Tyson's my smashing mantis shrimp. He's one of the really cool ones that can grab just about any crustacean, any um, invertebrate and pretty much just crush it and, and crush it into pretty much bits and pieces and has yet to find the perfect contender. But I have yet to really be able to, to film and document what a spearing mantis does. And off camera several times, I've been feeding him small little fillets of tilapia, some shrimp. And I was actually successfully able to get him to actually strike that food with his spear. So now I'm hoping, Slayers, is that I'm able to grab a live bait fish, probably something that is more common in his environment. So it's gotta be like a pilchard or a ballyhoo of some sort put it in a tank and see if it strikes it. So that, that is the hope, that is the goal today. I'm hoping that we're successful, so uh, wish me luck. I'm heading to a, a local bait store here that has shrimp, has pilchards, crabs, the whole nine yards. Uh, I've been there before for Tyson versus the blue crab video. I might be getting him another blue crab too, I'm not too sure. Guys, comment below if you should do that video again. You guys were complaining that that crab didn't have claws. I just gotta double check to find out if some of the bait stores locally do sell blue crab with claws so that I'm able to do that. So uh, enough for I'm heading to the bait store right now, a local bait store called Competition Bait and Tackle Slayers. And let's see what would they have available over there that I can buy and possibly feed our mantis shrimp spike. All right, Slayers, we have arrived at Competition Bait and Tackle Live Bait. This is the place that I'm gonna be getting a lot of my saltwater necessities in regards to feeding my saltwater monsters. So let's go inside and see what we can get. All right, Slayers, so this place is super neat. They even have a bandage shark in this huge tank, which is awesome. We have our boy over there. He's getting our stuff that we need, guys. I'm gonna be getting half a dozen pilchards and two crabs for future videos. You'll see what's going on. But if you wanna get your necessities, come here to Competition Bait and Tackle. It's loaded, no bait. Keep closed. Obviously, I can't read. But give us a few moments, guys, where you get everything we need, and I'll meet you back at the house. Well, you're lucky there. Let's take a moment, look at this. Oh yeah, we got some crabs. We got some perfect sized pilchards. Those crabs look great. I got ideas for all this stuff. We're ready to go. Thanks again. Competition, live bait and tackle. Wait, no, it's just competition tackle. Competition tackle and live bait. We're heading home. It's gonna be a pretty epic adventure today. A little more like an epic slay or a battle. I don't know where we're going with it, but it's gonna be dope. All right, Slayers, so as you guys can see, we are back at the slay. Pad. We have our boy Ninja over here. We got the Goldfish. We got everybody in the Slayer Pad family, the whole nine yards. Now, this is the main event right here, guys. We're looking at Spike right here. Look at Spike. Look at Spike. Spike is so cool. He's just chilling, minding his own business, ready for his meal. Now, I also may feed Tyson. You guys know Tyson, my Smashing Mantis shrimp. And he's one of the coolest critters here on the channel. Look how aggressive he can get. Look how angry he is. He is so dope. He's so cool. Looking good, my dude. Looking good. I know it could be a little loud in here, guys. A little echoey because of that beautiful tank that we have right here. Got to get uh, some water changes and stuff. We have a puffer here. Look at that guy right here. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Looking good. Now, Slayers, we have all of our food right here. We have the crab that we can possibly feed to Tyson right here based on how many comments we get in the section, guys. And we have what we're really going to be feeding our guy right here. That's right, Spike. Spike's gonna be getting a lot of nice food right there. So, uh, we might even feed our guy right here, the lump, Shrek. Right there, we might be feeding him Shrek. Or we might be feeding Shrek a pilchard as well. We'll see what we can do. Let's see what happens right now. So what I'm gonna do right here is see if I can get one of these pilchards right. Come on, come on. Let me see if I can scoop one of these things out. Come on, I can do it. Come on. That is a, that's a, that's crap. All right, got one of the pilchards right here. Check it out. Oh my God, we have a pilchard on the floor. 
Hang on. Hey, hang on. Look at that. Oh, back. Are you kidding me? All right. Let's grab one of these pilchards real quick, like I said. And we got another one right there. There's our pilchard right here. But we're not going to be feeding Spike first. I'm going to go ahead and give Shrek a shot right here at getting this pilchard. So here we go. Moment of truth. Sending it down the chute. Go for it. Losing its mind. Losing its mind. It's in front of Shrek's lair. Let's see what's going to happen. Does not look like Shrek wants it or he's enticed to eat it. So we're going to go ahead and grab this pilchard right here and get it out. I don't think he's going to want it. He's not gonna, he would have ate it by now. Shrek is a monster. So it's just, it's just not looking so good. So let's go ahead and get this pilcher out real quick and try to feed one of these guys. All right, here we go. Going down the chute. Let's see what happens. See if Tyson smells it and turns around. That is a big meal for Tyson. Oh, you lose. Oh my God, comatose. <laughs> Holy crap. We didn't even get to enjoy that. He just knocked that fish pretty much out. One hit KO. Swim right into his layer and boom, knocked out. So Slayers, I took the fish out because I was curious to see what exactly the damage was. And look, one hit KO right in the face. Smash that fish's eye in. Tyson is wild. All right, Slayers, check out our cool tank right here. The saltwater molly tanks looking good. Has some little invertebrates here that we feed to our guy Squishy, our octopus. And we have some crabs and some pilchers. So I was thinking, why not just add these to this aquarium and see what happens. So I have some crabs here. These crabs won't do much. Fortunately, unfortunately actually, the bait store removes the claws so they can be used as bait. So I'm just gonna have some pet crabs in the meantime. They're gonna bury themselves. Here you go. Oh my God. Can you fit down the hatch? Go. He's in. He's literally in there. Look, bury yourself. Bury, bury, bury. That's it, boom, buried. Now we have another one here. Let me get my arm out of the way. We have another guy here. And he's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. And we're just going to see if I can get them to regrow their claws back so we can actually feed them to Tyson to let it be a fair fight because I know you guys think it's not a fair fight. Look at this guy. He's buried himself completely. We're going to send this guy down the hatch as well. Go down. Boom. He's there as well. And I wonder, I don't know if these fish will live, to be honest. And if they do die, I'm going to take them out and freeze them. But I want to give it a chance to have them in this aquarium with these mollies. And these are fish from the ocean. These are saltwater fish. So I'm going to try my best to uh, have them if I can catch them. There you go. See? Big baits, big fish for snook and tarpon. I'm going to send them down, see if I can actually. Oh, no! Got that guy. Whew. Uh, see if I can actually have them alive for a while. So see what happens. I wonder what happens here. They might lose their mind. I don't think they're going to make it might spook my mollies but i have a couple here i uh it'll be pretty interesting pretty much have like a little bait tank in my house so i'm gonna add this guy too and uh we'll see what happens hmm. uh honestly guys i do not think my mollies are too thrilled with these guys in here i don't but uh, i wonder if these pilchards survive it'd be pretty crazy to see if, if that happens but i'm gonna monitor these guys and uh see what happens but in the meantime Let's go ahead and feed Spike exactly what you guys have been waiting for. Spike right here is gonna be eating this pilchard right now. So I wanna film this in slow motion so you guys can actually see what goes down with his meal. So Slayers, we're in slow motion, here we go. Sending it down the chute. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. Check that out. He has stabbed it. He's trying to take it back to his den. If he had a den burrowed, he would do that. He has stabbed and impaled his food. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. Seconds, guys. You guys saw how fast that was. Now we're back in regular video. I'm trying to, trying to get a good angle right now, guys. If you guys can see right there, he has stabbed it. And that's why he's called a spearing mantis shrimp right there. Oh, he let go. And he's going to start eating it from the other way in. Oh, yeah. Look at that spear right there, guys. That is one deadly freaking guy. Like, for real. Look at that. 
I, I don't even know. That that thing happened so fast. And he's killed it and he's dropped it. Why'd he drop it? I think he's gonna Oh 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 oh! Oh he's gonna it's, it's come back to life after he stabbed it. Oh there it is again! <laughs> That's why you always stay filming and recording, Slayers. That was epic. Wow. We're just gonna watch this behavior. Like, look, he's literally impaled this pilchard right here. Wow. Wow, I can't even believe that. I mean, I can believe it, but I'm just glad I finally documented it for you guys. It's been a while since I've had this pet, and it's been doing great. And just check that out. Oh, it's got away. It's got away. Watch, we just gotta keep our eye on it right now. Let's see if he stabs it again. Here we go, moment of truth. It's got a kick. I feel like he's completely a reaction predator. Let's see if that pilcher kicks. Now if I had frozen pilchards, obviously I would offer him frozen pilchards, but we only had live pilchards since we got them from that live bait store. But come on, buddy. Wonder what happens again. Oh, he's gonna go for it right here. He senses it. So to give it a second and boom. Oh, it's swimming around, it's going crazy. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, there it is again. <laughs> that is just wicked. That's why he has those spears. He goes after that. His diet's based on fish and shrimp. So it's just, it's ideal. Look at that, that fish is trying to move and there's not a chance. How epic. Watching actually like what would happen in the wild here in just a tank. Look at that, it's not going anywhere. He's, he's clamped on and boom. Freaking wild. Well, Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below what else you want to see on the channel, and we'll see you on the next Slay Venture.